Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Hillboro. It is a beautiful morning, another beautiful morning. Still gets a little chilly. I think I had frost on the windshield of my car. Out here in Atomic City, had to wake up about five o'clock this morning, and get out here in Atomic City. And I am excited for today because we are doing a route between Atomic City and St. Anthony, something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to be able to connect Atomic, like I've said before, try to connect St. Anthony to all of Southeast Idaho. And one of the best ways to do it is to get out to this desert out here in Atomic City. Some people might think, hey, that's not that hard. It's not that hard to go through a desert. The problem is in between here and St. Anthony and those mountains in the background, that's the INL. It's a well, the first nuclear reactor facility uh, and the surrounding area, huge, huge plot of land. And it is completely off limits to civilian use and accessibility. And so that's what we're trying to get around. And it's not that easy, but uh, Steve from Atomic City Trails, Yellowstone Divide Trails has uh, plotted a route and we're starting here in Atomic City going to St. Anthony. That way we can do the route in reverse and we can connect St. Anthony to Atomic City. So this route, not a ton of people are here with us today. It's kind of an endurance ride, about 12 hours round trip. We're only going to make it to St. Anthony because I've got some obligations this afternoon. So we're just going to go to St. Anthony. Fortunately, I live there and I can just drive home. I don't know if you can see that little kill deer by that rock. That uh, mama bird was really mad at us. We parked right next to that rock. That rock wasn't there before, but we parked kind of in that area. See, mama bird is running off. But right here, it's very difficult to find, but killdeers nest in the, oh, there it is. See right here? Those are baby killdeer birds in an egg right there. So we put this rock next to it so that people coming into the parking lot wouldn't accidentally squish these cute little birds. But yeah, see, there's mama bird pretending to be injured so that would chase her instead. But no, we'll walk away. We'll let her keep those babies warm. It's interesting, that's what those birds do, those killders, is uh, they actually nest in camouflage into the desert floor. And I mean, it's pretty brilliant. You can't see those nests, but when they nest in like fields and parking lots, it's also really dangerous because you can just step on them and run over them and you'll never even know you did it. So we put that rock there. Hopefully no one will disturb that nest. So I'll be traveling with a small group today. Uh, the devil dog, Steve and his MRZR, a couple uh, Mavericks. I'll be on my four wheeler. So this will be kind of a, uh, a fun video uh, documenting it from drone and uh, what, uh, as an event but also a little bit of pov scouting riding got my drone landing by itself <laughs> that thing's pretty cool all right got myself ready on the renegade let's take off to the east So looking at the trail map, we're gonna go about eight miles east of Atomic City through this rough stuff, and then we'll start heading north. Uh, you probably see that Tower Butte in the distance there. We gotta go around that. That's another spot that's not accessible by regular civilians. And uh, ah, this road gets a little rough.
That's kind of cool. A couple of dead cinders. Kind of looks like a zombie land. Looks like it goes into some live cinders. Just to east, southeast of that butte over there. This is so far the prettiest part of the ride. Going from the dead cinders to the live cinders. Oh man, this is beautiful. This is awesome. So far, you get past that first few miles east of Atomic City, kind of rough. You get into this and it's just, that's a beautiful drive. So we've just gone beyond the butte, way over there now. I don't know if you can see it. We went through some cedars southeast of the butte. And so now we're starting to really head north and the trail has turned from rock to pretty good, straight, fast stuff. Check this old bus out. Old, old man, I don't know what you'd call it, a 50s, 40s style bus. All shot the crap. Check this out. Old bus. Nah. Uh -uh. Well, we've passed the butte, past the Cedars, on our way to cross Highway 20. It's one of my favorite landmarks out here. An old bus, abandoned bus, shot the heck. I wonder if we can see inside. Oh. Wow! Look at that. Oh, there's a deer. Antelope way out there. GoPro probably can't pick it up. Oh! Well, we're at this cool cistern about midway of the trail. Uh, fun little fact is if you explore this desert in southeast Idaho, you'll run into about a dozen of these. And so maybe that could be a goal for some of you guys. Go explore the desert and go find the dozen cisterns, the, the ones that are built with the lava rock. It's kind of cool. I see this Maverick trail you're riding in. How's that? It's great. I love those Can-Ams. Can-Ams just a good machine. Yes, it's a great machine. How'd you hear about this uh, atomic ride? Uh, Facebook. Uh, what do you think of it so far? It's good. It's good. A little different? Yep. Yeah, we're usually mountain. In the mountains, we haven't really done the desert, so it's something new to, new to us. 
Obviously, when traveling this trail, the X3 is the machine to ride it with, but I also see you with the GoPro. What is it? Who are you guys? So we're Two Eight Adventures. Um, we're out of Kimberly, Idaho, Twin Falls area. So we kind of follow, we follow the Facebook group here. We decide what the heck. We just made a last minute decision to come up here and, and uh, make this run. So pretty exciting. This desert is incredible. There's so much stuff out here. You know, we've seen some elk out here, antelope running around. And like I said, these water cisterns are cool. There's some definitely some history. This is a pretty sweet area. Um, I wouldn't want to be out here in July and August, but I tell you what, springtime, it's beautiful. It's green, the flowers are out. Just an incredible area. Pretty cool. What do you think, Stace? Oh yeah, I'm loving it. We like to do a lot of riding and exploring. We like to go all over, well, Idaho, Montana, Utah. Utah. Yeah, Nevada. Nevada, yeah. Just but love to explore. Yeah, but definitely a first for us up here. This is the first time we've been, well, Atomic City, you know, starting out there. It's the first time I've ever been to that little town. That was really cool. Um, yeah. It's really neat history with that. But just just this run, I mean, it's it's just def definitely different. We're on YouTube. Uh, we also have a Facebook group as well, um, 208 Adventures. And uh, Instagram, side by, or 208 Side by Side Adventures. So, yeah. Well, thanks for coming. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been yeah. nice meeting you and good ride with you. Nice Absolutely. to meet you guys too. Thanks. Not a large group, but a good group. We're clipping right along. It's a lot of fun. I think this is the first time Hillbro has seen this side by side. Get the sound down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. This is the uh, this is the family wagon here. We need to use it more often. We like it. This is one of the very first times I've taken this trail in the daylight. Yeah. It's been in the dark. You guys are gonna get lost out here in the daylight. <laughs> we actually did. Actually, this road is in better shape than it's been for three years. Really. Yeah, or it's probably that I'm not on a four-wheeler. <laughs> yeah. Because I'd slow way down for the bumps and stuff. And it's so much easier on a UT. I still enjoy a four-wheeler more because you're out in the open. And, but, but This is pretty good. I can ride all day in this. <laughs> four-wheeler, I can't anymore. Look at this. He's still got his military numbers on here. Yeah, I'm not going to change it. I think I'm going to leave it just like it is. Just it up. Yeah, we'll Hi. Fancy meeting you guys out on this trail too. So what's going on here is last year when we were exploring these trails, trying to figure out if we can get to Atomic City, uh, I got a flat tire in the middle of the night. As we were changing the tire, my dad lost his wedding ring. And so you guys have the metal detector today, right? Uh, so they're going, they're going back to where 
we think we got the flat because like I say it was the middle of the night um, and they're gonna try and find his wedding room <laughs> yeah it's a tough one I mean even if you know the exact spot it happened trying to find it. it's a big tough one well good luck well thanks you know if we find this ring this will be a fun addition to a story a year well we went to see this last fall hey. you got a flat tire and it was dark and um, anyway I think I pulled my glove off to help you change that tire and I I think I pulled my ring off and so I want to find this wedding band I've got a metal detector here and Isaac's dropped me a pin hopefully it's pretty close but we can kind of I don't know scan around with the metal detector and maybe find this ring well good luck finding it <laughs> <laughs> hey it's the adventure <laughs> so if you find the ring uh, video it and we'll put it at the end of this one okay see ya ah we can see sage junction we're almost there here we are Well, we made it to Sage Junction. The wind's picking up a little bit, so sorry if you can hear that. But Sage Junction is, I'd say, uh, three quarters of the way there. And a perfect rest stop. Midday, I think it's close to 11.30 or so. Um, and then I-15 is just right there. You go over the overpass, and then you cut the desert straight into St. Anthony. You might be able to see it in the background there. Some dunes over Steve's head. It's been a fun day, good day. All machines working great. doing a good job protect those sheep I have ridden out here between St. Anthony and Sage Junction a ton and I've never seen sheep out here before look at all those sheep sheep dog little lambs you know set of lamb chops sounds nice I'm going
Well, we made it to St. Anthony. It's a good ride. Actually, this is a made it pretty quickly, actually. And what we're doing is we're at the Eagen Lake, just past the Eagen Lake parking lot. And it looks like Steve brought watermelon. We're going to enjoy ourselves a midway point watermelon. Actually, these guys are only halfway done. I'm supposed to be here this afternoon. And so uh, this is uh, this will be it for me after they take off. But it is beautiful. Sorry, I'm in the trees because of the wind again, obviously. But we're by the lake. Everything went good. Everything is great. I'm out of fuel. <laughs> I need more fuel. Well, Steve, you're spoiling us. <laughs> Pretty good watermelon. Well, Nathan, Stacy, it was nice to meet you. I'm glad we were able to join the ride together. Right, as well. Make sure you go check out Toy Adventures. They got some fun videos over there. I right, appreciate it. Thank you. Well, I think that's it for me. I had an awesome time. Guys, we now know how to get between St. Anthony and Atomic City. So we got that big old route taken care of. Now we can explore further into the desert of Idaho. It was a good time. It was uh, about 80 miles. Mixture of sand rides, uh, fast roads, bumpy roads, <laughs> slow roads. Kind of a mixture of everything. And depending on what you're driving and how you drive, I'd say that's about a four hour trip. But it's a good one. And if you guys want to go check out that route, it will be on the website underneath the drop down on the Onyx Trails. And you guys will be able to follow that route and connect however you want to connect when you go riding. So thanks for watching Hillbro and we'll catch you out here next time.